should be back at the spa. Hmm. Well, Ryan might give you a massage when he comes down. What? <laughs> but it might be some kind of secret Reiki master. Hmm. Right, anyway, I must get going. Look, are you sure you don't want me to come with you? No, it's fine. It's only a routine appointment. We text us and let us know how you get on. Yeah. Hey, listen, talk to Fred. No, there's no point you having a relationship if you can't be honest with each other. I'll see you in a bit. <clears throat> not interrupting, am I? <laughs> of course not. Uh, what can I get you? A job would be nice. Don't you have one of those? I did. Well, I do. But I want a change, a new challenge. Oh, well, OK. Well, this place is definitely a challenge. Have you got a restaurant experience? <laughs> loads. Right. Be more specific. Well, not loads, but some. I'm a quick learner, hardworking. OK, so self-starter, mm -hmm. good problem solver. Are we playing interview bingo here? Right? So it's a job interview, then? Look, I'll be honest with you. I've only helped out a few mates in bars, but I'm a natural, and I'd be perfect for this place. Just give me a chance and I'll prove it. It's not as easy as it looks, you know. Long hours, difficult customers. And I can handle all that. Just let me show you how brilliant I am. All I'm asking for is a chance. OK, OK. So how does it feel to be back at work? Uh, good, yeah. It's nice to be busy. Mm, reckon I prefer the leisure time myself. <laughs> yeah, I, um... I was wondering as well, you know, when I could start back with my cleaning. Hi, Kev. Hi. Uh, well, let's see how we get on here first. Oh, no, I'll be fine. She's not work shy, is she? <laughs> People need protecting from themselves. Yeah. Just give it a few days, eh? See you later. See ya. See ya. Uh, I've been thinking of this stuff with David. Oh, Kevin. Look, we'll be mad not to at least look into it. Look, I've already done that. I was up half the night on the laptop. You know, it's probably not going to be worth doing. How come? Well, because we might lose, for starters. Well, we'll never know unless we try. And it could take years. How's that going to help us now? Messing around with solicitors. do not trust them as far as could throw them. Cheers. Oh, no, sorry. I didn't mean you. It's fine. I shouldn't have butted it. Uh, do you want to take a seat? I'll come over. Yeah, sweet. It might be good to get the opinion of someone who knows what they're done about. Oh, look, it's lunchtime. I'm busy. Oh, we could at least get a bit of advice. Ah, just a person. Oh, what have we done now? The persecution complex is never attractive, Tracy. Actually, I'm looking for a favour. Oh, yeah? I'd like you to round up the boys. I want to talk to you all together about something. Come on, Nichols. I've never said a word all morning. What's up here? Nothing. <laughs> You're gonna fool me. I'm fine, Johnny, honestly. Hey, I'm not moving until I get a smile out of you. It's hard to smile when you're being called a gold digger. What? You talking about prenups. Who do you think you are, Kanye West? Jenny, wait. I'm sorry, OK? I didn't mean to offend you. Didn't you? I was just trying to get everything in order. You make it sound like you're about to keel over. Of course not. And meanwhile, I'm the cuckoo in the nest. What's that supposed to mean? What all these plans? Sorting everyone's future except mine. All I get is a bit of paper to sign promising I'm not after your money. It's not like that. Not once have you asked my opinion. About what? Well, the factory, for starters. I could run that place standing on my head. <sighs> Listen, when the time comes to telling Leanne, I'll do my best to smooth things over, all right? Thanks, Eva. It's OK. You better get to work. All right, trouble. What's up? Why do you ask? Oh, you just seem a bit uptight. wonder why that is. You're a liar, Toya. What? Maybe it's about time you started telling me the truth. There's loads of nowhere, no fee types out there. It's just about choosing the right one. If you want, I can take a statement. It gives you a starting point before you meet someone. Right, Mum. Oh, hi, darling. I'll be with you in a minute. Looks like you've done a few rounds with Conor McGregor. Yeah, well, it was one punch and a bit closer to home. You're joking. I sure was. You might want to get some photos together to show any injuries. 
It's up to you. Just a bit of friendly advice. I'm not sure I want to do this, Kev. Anna. No, I prefer it if we just left it. I don't think I can deal with raking it all up again. Sorry. You seen Mr. Connor anywhere? Well, he was in the office earlier. Why? I need to talk to him. About what? Well, that's for me to know. But I just thought it might be something that I could help with, that's all. Well, I'll wait and I'll speak to Mr. Connor himself, if that's all right with you. Well, he's a very busy man. You know, he spends far too much time dealing with trivial things. Who says it's trivial? Do you know, some people would do well to mind their own business. Is it still all right, Mr. Connor, to nip out this afternoon for a couple of hours? Of course, Sally, it's fine. Thank you. It's a breast cancer checkup, if that's not too trivial for you. Why was I supposed to know Bash needed the time off? I still think you could run this place standing on your head. All those conversations we had about us going travelling one day. You can take kids travelling. Me telling you about Siles, talking about Liam being pregnant. And not once did you mention wanting kids yourself. I did try. Well, you didn't. You didn't try hard enough. I'll tell you what, it makes you think. It makes you wonder when somebody holds back information like that. What's that supposed to mean? Well, one day out the blue, oh, Peter, look, I'm pregnant. How did that happen? I have been going through IVF for years. Now, do you think I would do that if it was that easy to just pop a few kids out? I don't understand, then. Why not be truthful? Oh, you've got a nerve. You're sneaking around with me, keeping secrets, and then uh, what, getting on your high horse and calling me a liar? You were the one that didn't want to tell Leanne, not me. Where are you going? I'm going to be Dad's. What, so that's it? You're just going to walk away? If you've not been honest about this, what else have you been keeping from me? Can't we at least talk about this properly? There's nothing to talk about. Really? What? It's that simple? Yeah, it's that simple. Hey, mate. You free for a shift? Uh, not really, no. Got a young lady here. She's been waiting 20 minutes. Omar's stuck at the airport. Yeah, go on, then. Good lad. You're a star. We need to talk. You can't just walk away. Thanks for this, mate. I better get back to the switch. Well, never one to ignore a damsel in distress. I don't think I've been called a damsel before. I quite like it. Your chariot awaits. Peter. Let's talk about it later. What, is this some, some kind of punishment, is it? Throwing yourself at some random because you're not happy. Punishment for what? You've not done anything wrong, have you? <sighs> Where's Peter? I sent him a message the same as everybody else. He's the prodigal son, remember, so he'll get here when it suits him. If there's one thing this family's got plenty of, it's prodigies. Can we not just start without him? No, I'm not saying anything until Peter arrives. Don't get too excited. I might be cutting your funding to buying a dishwasher. Anyway, I thought you'd want to get back to your studies. I'm taking my MCT exams again. Oh, why didn't you tell me? You didn't ask. Well, I think that's excellent news. It's nice to know I can do something, right? So that's just uh, eight quid then, please. So, what now? Back home to make peace with your girlfriend? No, um, I've got a, a family meeting, as it happens. I'm late for it. Family meeting? That sounds ominous. Yeah, tell me about it. There you go, you can keep that. Oh. Well. And what about her? Oh, it's complicated. We're not usually like that. There's no need to explain yourself to me. I wasn't explaining myself to you. No? No, no. You're quite cute when you're annoyed. Listen, I wouldn't normally do this, but do you want to join me for a coffee? A coffee? Well, I've got time to kill. You've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. Sure, any minute. You're welcome to wait. Oh, no, it's all right. I'll, um, I'll catch you at the flat. You sure? 
You look like you can do with a drink. Is it that obvious? Turn it to the train down. You can join me if you like. You can do it with the company. In fact, oh, sit yourself down. Uh, hmm? What are you having? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, it's not as if we've got anything to lose. So, what's it to be? Uh, oh, I don't know. White wine? Yeah. Good choice. Exactly what I was going to have. Um, actually, it's on me. So, when you pull that through the till, and I'll pull. <laughs> Come on, got a customer here. And in my experience, a good bartender is the best person you can pour your heart out to. So why don't you and me put the world to rights while the boss goes and does some paperwork or something? Come on, off you pop. I'll give you a shout if you need anything. Oh, no, I draw the line and then supervise trial. Hey, 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 hey! Well, well you can't leave a jeweler's bag there and not expect a girl to take a peek. So what would you uh, be buying from there, then? Oh, I'm not exactly going to jeopardise my new job by giving away a secret. So is this normal for you, is it, Chloe, dragging random blokes into hotels? We are, they need to drag them. What can I say? I'm impulsive. Oh, I see, is that right? You seemed interesting. I seemed interesting? <laughs> Seem. That's better, yeah. Listen, uh, I better shoot off. Back to the wonderful girlfriend. That sounds a bit weird when you say girlfriend at my age. Well, partner then. I thought she was. People let you down. Trust me, I know. Well, I'm normally the one doing the letting down, believe me. So anyway, look, uh, family's going to be waiting for me. Take a risk. Stay a while. Listen, it's been lovely. You're lovely. Oh. But what? You know. Hey, thanks for the coffee. I suppose I better give you something for your time. Oh, no, don't, don't worry. Oh, come on. People tip taxi drivers, don't they? You know what they say about gift horses? Oh, no, no. Take the money. Don't ask questions. Long lunch hour, this, innit? First the cafe and now, eh? Give us a break, will you? Any word from the insurance company? I phoned them up this morning. And? No news. We need to get this sorted, Kev. <sighs> Look, I chased them up. What more can I do? Look, mate, let me buy you a pint. Say sorry for... Right, what are you having, Tyrell? Nothing, thank you. Some of us have got work to do. Mm. You two should have matching gold bands and have done with it. Uh, orange juice for me and whatever Kev's having. Uh, no, thanks. That's not. Oh, are you sure, Kevin? I need somebody to celebrate with. Celebrate? I've just had a check-up. Another year cancer-free. Oh, Sally, that's fantastic. <laughs> Sally, that's amazing news. Oh, thank you. Thank oh, well, have a drink with me, Kevin. You can tell me the latest on you and Tyrone. <sighs> do you think she'll say yes? Of course she will. Even if you did nearly do a midnight flick to Scotland last week. You better get the proposal right, though. What are you thinking? Uh, I love you. Here's a ring. Will you marry me? Seriously? Oh, it's not like I can whisk her to the top of the Empire State Building, is it? Well, look, it doesn't have to be cheesy or slushy. Just sincere. Hiya. Hello, Hiya. Uh, what's Kate doing here? Oh, it's a kind of work trial. Oh. Uh, how did your appointment go? Yeah, blood pressure's fine for now. Oh. <laughs> nice one. What are you talk to? I just needed some advice. What about Fred? Not my problems. Oh, it's nothing. It's... You sure? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak to him later, like you said. You okay? Yeah, fine. Yeah, great, great. You two are definitely up to somewhere. I don't know what you mean? Hmm. I see you join us. Take a seat. All right, I. Uh... I just wanted you all together because uh, I've got something to tell you. I've decided to go ahead and give my doctors the do not resuscitate instruction. Adam very kindly has been helping me sort out my will and my main priority is to make sure that you're all provided for once I've gone. Why are you talking like this, Dad? 
Sorry, Tracy, but it's important. Too many people leave these things until it's too late. Yeah, but you're making it sound like you're at death's door. <laughs> Not at all. But I just want you all to understand why I won't be making any more significant outlays. Dad, all of us, we don't care about the money. Good. And I hope you'll respect my wishes. How can we? Are you absolutely sure about this? 100%. Oh. Tracy, oh, could you go after her, please? Me? Yeah, no, both of you. Make sure she's okay. I must admit, I was surprised to hear about the exams. Worthwhile endeavor. Thanks. Once you've passed, I might make an exception and help you get started. Look, Adam, I know you're upset about being put with the grandchildren and the will, but you are as important to me as anybody. How are you going to sort things out with Tyrone? Don't know. I'm trying to force Anna all morning into making a claim against David. If I could at least get some cash together. Oh, the plots have been through enough, Kevin. Look, why don't you let me help you out? Oh? Well, all that bother with the truck and then the fire, the last thing you needed was Sophie heading off to America without any travel insurance. Yeah, I know, but... Well, the least I could do is shoulder some of that responsibility. Oh, so. I'll transfer some money into your account. Seven grand. That's half what you paid out, isn't it? Two seconds. I understand. Sophie's my daughter, too. Well, if you're sure. You're one in a million, so. And I'm made up about your news today. Yeah, you and me both. Right, let's get back to work. And I really appreciate this. See you. Hi, right, Kev. Hiya. Tyrone said you were here. Oh, you'll be straight on the hotline to Johnny, I suppose. No, of course not. I just wanted to see how you got on at your appointment. I was out of order earlier. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. Well, I'm glad to know. I wanted to say I'm sorry. Well, apology accepted. Didn't think it'd be that easy. <laughs> Do you know, it's a funny thing. I've just been sat in the waiting room with this young girl. And never realised that life's too short for petty feuds, everything she's going through. Yeah, I can only imagine. You know, I'm worrying about her treatment and how the kids are going to cope if the worst happens. It's down to little things, you know, like trying to find a decent mastectomy bra. You never really think about things like that, do you? I'll see you back at work. Twice in one day, eh? You're either starving or you're checking up on me. I'm not checking up on you. I'm just worried about you. <clears throat> What's all that about before with Kevin that Adam Barlow? Nothing. We were just talking. I thought you put all this list of stuff to bed. <sighs> yeah, so did I. Come on, don't let anyone push you into something you don't want to do, OK? Well, what's the alternative, Gary? Trust me, the last thing that I need is to drag all this up again in front of a load of strangers. You know, I still wake up in the middle of the night thinking about it. So why are you going through with it, then? Because Kev's insurance isn't paying out, so we need to get some money out of David. I, I know this puts you in a tricky situation with Sarah, but I don't know what else I can do. We're really struggling. I know. I know. Is there any chance you could radio Peter? I just need a quick word. Oh, don't even talk to me about him. Why? What's he done? He went off on that job earlier and he's been ignoring his radio for ages. Well, how long was he away for? About an hour. God knows what he's up to. Pretty girl, hotel drop-off, I can guess. Mm. Meanwhile, I've had jobs coming out of my ears. So where is he now, then? Oh, he came back. He dumped his keys and his rush off because he needs to be somewhere. Mm. People take liberties when you're a nice guy. Yeah, I've expected to find your bags packed. What's that supposed to mean? I want to blame you for doing a runner. Coping with a loser like me. Kevin! Look, I'm sorry, Anna, for everything. Listen, I've had to think about that conversation with Adam earlier. I shouldn't have asked you to do it. I don't want you worrying about all this legal stuff and that. I spoke well, to... But maybe you were right, though. You know, it's got to be at least worth a try. I thought... You know, you're in trouble. And if there's a way of getting you out of it... Getting us out of it... Are you sure? Let's just take his advice eh, and see what happens.
So come on then, what is it? Is it lies, apologies, excuses? Oh, you have got a flaming cheek. I've got a cheek. Talking to me about lying. Had a nice time, did you? Well, I might have flirted with her, but I'll tell you You've something. You've been with it's that not woman as bad in a hotel. Lying to some... I don't know what you're talking about. We were with her for almost an hour. Nothing happened. <sighs> well, I'm supposed to believe that. You can believe what you like, I don't care. Oh, so what was it then? What, tea and scones? Now, if you must know, we were talking about you. <sighs> we are talking about us and all the things that we were going to do together until I found out about your big secret. Oh, it wasn't a secret! Oh, so what, you just forgot to mention the baby thing? <sighs> Come on, just face it, Toya. I'm just another... Fall guy on your list. Do you know what? I'm, I'm not even discussing this with you anymore. Great. Fine. Fine. No, I had a choice. Go back with Toby and have the chance of a family or stay with you. And I chose you. How stupid am I? You know, thanks for the memories, but uh, clearly this isn't going to work, is it? It's over. I'm out. Barnaby and Nelson are investigating the death of a wealthy landowner in Midsummer Murders next here on ITV. Over on ITV3, Her Majesty the Queen arrives to open the new kennels in Paul O'Grady for the love of dogs. And next on ITVB, it's a brand new series of Celebrity Dinner Date with hunky entrepreneur James Hill. ship sailed. So we didn't go well mm. then? Oh. Lee, you didn't even try to understand. I reckon I didn't love him. I was just using him for a sperm donor. Then he admitted that he'd been for coffee with another woman. Hmm. Sounds like a right charmer. Well, maybe it's for the best. I mean, he don't want kids. Well, maybe he just needs some time to get used to the idea. <laughs> the way he was talking the other day, he made King Flaming Herod sound child-friendly. And that was before the row. Oh, so he's not even called or text? No, nothing. And I had my phone on all night. I mean, on vibrate, obviously. I didn't want to wake you two. Oh, don't worry about that. I haven't slept anyway. Maybe you'll call later on. No, I don't think so. I think that's it for us. Hey, come on. You remember our motto? They're not worth it. <laughs> exactly. Right. I'll be off then. Uh, present company accepted, of course. Yeah, you want to hang on to that one. <laughs> You've changed your tune. Or oh, maybe I finally realised what love is. Or isn't in my case. Do you want a cup of tea? No, nah, it's going to take more than that. I don't know. Maybe she was right. Who? Wilma. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right about what? That we want different things. Well, of course you and her want different things. It's a fundamental law of nature. What do you mean? All right, look, all I'm saying is nothing I like more, right, than sitting down with a can of three in front of the professionals. Is that still on? Yeah, if you know where to look. You know, and if I want to have a scratch, I can have one. If the beer's having a certain effect, it's not a problem. But if Sally were to do the same, and I don't mind telling you this, pal, if Sally were to do the same, I would lose complete respect for her. As would she if I was to settle down with Gok Wan and a bottle of rosé. But it's not about tellies, it's about life. Anyway, that's you and Sally. No, my friend. That's men and women. Not chalk and cheese, cheese and pickle. Different, but complimentary. Yeah, well, she went very complimentary to me last night. I think I've well and truly blown it. Well, you know, it, it, maybe it's for the best. I mean, you know, if someone's making you that miserable, don't do it. That's always been my motto. But I love her. Well, I used to love corned beef. I had it in my butties every day for two years running. Then one dinner, I took a bite and I thought, nah, sick of this. I've never looked back since, nor should you. I don't know what you do at that school, you. You get through more shows than red rum. Who? Oh, never mind. I'll see what I can do about getting you a new pair. All right. See ya. See ya. See ya. Look, maybe I can help. No, love. Your pride wouldn't cover the cost of a pair of new skill shoes. I'll sort it out more besides. Only if you're comfortable. Yeah, well, my comfort's neither here nor is it. There's a life belt floating past. You've got to grab it. David! Yeah? Uh, me and you, we need a little chat. Oh, yeah? What about? I'd sooner not discuss it here, so do you want to come over to the cafe tonight when you're finished at the salon? Yeah, if you like. 
Yeah, believe me, it's not a case of if I like. Far from it. See you later. Yeah. Come on, I can do that. It's all right, mate. I've done it now. Sure you've got enough butties there? Oh, I've done today's lunch as well. Oh, Chess, there's no need. Oh, if I'm making butties anyway, it's no bother. It's only what I do normally. I know, but things aren't normal, are they? Well, lots of couples have rows. It's no biggie. Right, I've done new tuna mayo on one of them seeded rolls that you like. It's fresh. I nicked to the bakers on Tower Street this morning. And uh, got you and Eclair while I was there. Thanks, but really, I can just do my own. I'll see you later. Bye. Are you OK? Yeah, fine. We'll sort it out. I just got to keep plugging away. Yeah. And what's it like having a wicked stepmother? You sound like my brother. Jenny's not wicked, not really. Well, she's not exactly fairy godmother material. She accused me of having an affair with Aiden. <laughs> yeah, I heard. But as long as she makes my dad happy. Mm. At what price, though? If she signs the prenup, then she's not the gold digger that we thought. If she signs. And even if she does, doesn't mean she's put a shovel away. Mm. You know, the likes of her always have a plan B to fit their sleeve. <clears throat> oh, what are you doing here? Morning to you and all. Well, what's that? Right, it, it's just a little experiment. But Sally was saying that some people at her breast cancer clinic, they're struggling to find nice-looking mastectomy bras, so I thought I'd have a go. Hmm, that's a nice thought. Well, it could be an opportunity. You know, we could do some good and make some money at the same time. Everyone's a winner. Yeah? Yeah, have you run this past Johnny? What's wrong? You're scared of somebody else showing a bit of imagination. I need to know that the boss has signed off on this. Mm. You need to know nothing. What I discuss with my fiancé is my affair. Nothing to do with junior management. So you haven't told him? I'm going to tell him when I've got a fully thought-out proposal complete with prototype. It's called professionalism, Alia. You might want to look it up sometime. Hey. Well, look, at least you found out what he was like before you got in too deep. It's a good thing. Oh, next you'll be saying there's plenty more fish in the sea. Oh, I'm sorry, ignore me. Oh, it's all right, I understand. It's not like I've not been exactly where you are. Hey, do you fancy another brew? Oh, I'll do it. No, no, you won't. Oh, come on. I'm fed up of being waited on. I am capable, you know. Mm, no, you're a VIP. Sorry, VIPs. So you're gonna get the full service. <laughs> oh, do you know, I really thought he was differently. I thought he actually cared. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe you've written him off too soon. No, I don't think so. Do you want a bicky with that? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, go on then, Ta. Mm. What are you doing here? Oh, that's a nice welcome. We're absolutely snowed under. Uh, so what are you doing here then? Oh, uh, well, Chris is ringing sick. Uh, case not starting until tomorrow. We're shorthanded. Can I borrow your sister? What, now? Well, yeah, a lunchtime rush. I'll pay you. Oh, look, I'm staying here for nothing. It's the least I can do. No! No, I mean, no, cos we're having a brew and a chat, aren't we? Oh, look, I'd sooner be doing something useful than sitting around here waiting for a phone call that's never gonna come. Hey, look, eat your biscuits, kettle's on, and, uh, I'll see you in a bit. All right, see ya. It was bad enough you texting her first, let alone firing one back straight away. Oh, why wouldn't I? That's a schoolboy, Harry. You look too keen, man. Good. I want to look keen. I am keen. Too old for playing games. Well, it never hurts to keep a woman on her toes, you know. What, like you do yourself? Exactly. How do I look? Gorgeous. Yeah. I'm gonna have to change this shirt. Yeah, I'd be right. No, look, I've got tomato sauce on it. Well, leave it. She'll think it's lipstick. I don't want her to think it's lipstick. I've told you, I'm not playing games. You know what footballers say, don't you? What's that? If you're a long time retired, you'll miss it. Not me, mate. As from today, I'm officially hanging up my boots. How do I look? Fine. Anyone would think it's a first date. Well, I couldn't be more nervous if it was. You don't get many chances with Richard Drake. Well, tough not to crack, is he? Look at Flaming Cube. Or the kind of volumes he deals in, he can pick and choose his suppliers. They're queuing up. I'm sure you'll knock him dead. Or die trying. 
Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> Dad, have you got a sec? Oh, sorry, love. I can't be late for this meeting. Can you wait? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you get off. Hey, I've got hold of Emma's number. If you want me to give her a ring. Oh, yeah, great. I mean, the sooner she can come in and take a look at the sample, the better. Oh, you've done a smashing job. I mean, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but that is really thoughtful. Right. See what Emma thinks of it first, but thanks, Sal. It means a lot. <laughs> Very nice. If she doesn't say yes, I will. Who thinks too much to you? No, I think you've got it just right. Got a bit of practice when it comes to proposals. Mm. It's just, uh, it's just the after this bit of a problem. Well, I should just worry about today. Right. Do you think she'll say yes? Well, I can't speak for her. Oh, well, that's a good job. No, like I told you, you're officially back on my Christmas card list. Oh, I'm vibrating. Excuse me. Uh, oh, it's the end. <clears throat> Ailey. What now? Uh. Well, I don't know if I can get away, actually, cos, um, well, we're sort of in the thick of it here. Uh, yeah, well, well, why don't you just leave it unlocked? I mean, nobody can get in the downstairs door unless... All right, all right, look, I'll, um, yeah, I'll pop back. I'll see you in a sec. OK. Mm. Everything OK? She's lost her flat keys and can't go out. Got herself in a right state, by the sounds of it. Almost. Well, I thought it best not to say that to her. No, I'll go back and help her look, and if we can't find them, she can have my set. OK. So, don't be long. Tell her I'm ready for her to come over. And are you? As I'll ever be. Oh, what are you doing here? So, oh, I just thought I'd get a new pair of football boots for Cy, but I didn't know his size. Never heard of phones? Yeah, I was just passing, you know. I thought I'd chance my arm, pop in, do it the old-fashioned way. All right, well, this is size seven, but I've already bought my pair. Oh, right, great. I mean, for Cy. That saves a trip into town as well, I suppose. So, uh, what are you up to today? Well, what's it to you? I just wondered if you were going out. Uh, anywhere nice, like. No, not particularly. Though I bet you are. I suppose I couldn't smell you on stairs. There's no way you're driving around in a taxi wearing that shirt. No, I am, I'm just making an effort, that's all. Oh, yeah, you've got anyone I know. Oh, hiya. Oh, hey, Toya. So, should we start looking, then? Uh, found him. Found what? A keys. Oh, she doesn't change, does she? Always putting them down somewhere. Actually, I didn't lose my keys. I just wanted to get you back here. Why? Look, sorry, I've done something really stupid. I wanted to meet your boyfriend. So, well, he texted earlier, so I told him to come round here. And then Nick turned up and he dragged you off, and then... Well, you had no right interfering. Yeah, I know, I know. But you were so caught up about this Fred bloke that I just thought if you could get together... And... I was only trying to help. Yeah, well, you didn't. I mean, so what, what time's he coming over? Ten minutes ago. Hmm. He must have had second thoughts, eh? Oh, do you mind? It's got even less to do with you than it has with her. Sorry. Look, Nick's waiting for you over at the bistro. He asked me to send you over. Oh, right. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I forgive you. Just, I did say that you'd go straight over there, so... All right. Are you going, then? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Made with love, that was. She hasn't been fitting a headboard on that set either, the way it's going. I need more time. I understand. Every couple has a rocky patches, even me and Beth. Yeah, but I'm not you and me, Auntie Beth. All I'm saying is, I'm sure she hasn't learned whatever lesson it is you're trying to teach him. I'm, I'm not trying to teach him a lesson. And what? I don't know. I, I just, I, I don't know what I want. Oh, well, I want to hang about deciding. Cos she reckons it's all going to blow over. It's not fair to keep him hanging on. Oh, Emma. 
Thanks for coming. Oh. <laughs> we were having a coffee morning. Mm. Mm. And when I told the rest of the girls, they wanted to take a look too. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, the more the merrier. Oh. We really appreciate you coming in so quickly. I'm, I'm Jenny. Yeah, Jenny designed the bras. Great. Well, I, I, I've, I've just made a sample, you know. It's a bit crude, but it, it gives you the general idea. Oh, well, it couldn't be any worse than some of the stuff we've seen. <laughs> this is Rachel. Oh, pleased to meet you. But shall we... Um, uh, who's this lot? <laughs> well, these ladies have kindly come in to look at the mastectomy bra. It's sort of a, a, a focus group. Right, well, I'd sooner you were focused on the work you were paid to do. Is this about time? Don't worry. My fiancé owns this factory. <laughs> oh, do you need to get that? That's what you're paid to do. Ladies, shall we take a look? Oh, really? Oh, Hello, Underworld. Oh, hi, Mr Connor. How did it go? That was great. Oh, what? You're bringing him straight over? No. No, 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 that's not a problem at all. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll see you in 20 minutes. Right. I've got your charger. Oh, thanks. Wow, that's some thick hair. Yeah, it's Mrs. Abercrombie. I swear she's part merino. Like snipping through loft insulation. <laughs> well, handy winter, I suppose. Yeah, I didn't know whether to cut it or stick a bobble on it. Right, I'll see you later. Oh, wait, um, Anna collared me in the street earlier. What's she want? I was hoping you were going to tell me. She wants to meet me in the cafe later tonight for a chat. Gary's not mentioned anything, has he? No, not to me. You don't think he's told her, do you? Why would he? Uh, because I nearly killed his mum. Look, I'm sure it's fine. Um, how does she seem? Well, not like she wanted an egg custard and a cosy chat, that's for sure. Mm. I can't decide. Shall I go for Jimmy and Chihuahua and all the planet? What? For my shoes. <coughs> what shoes? Dad's taking me shopping for some shoes after school. Oh. I've been winding him up all day, but he's never even heard him in all old blind. I have. He used to play for Everton, didn't he? What have I let myself in for? <laughs> hey, trudging around the shops. Oh, don't worry. She's not as fussy as most girls of her age. It shouldn't take you that long. I do appreciate you helping us out, though. Well, it's all right. I'm my dad. And I know that you and Kevin are in a bit of a fix at the moment. What, Kevin told you? No, Sally did. She was happy to chip in. She just wishes she could have helped out a bit more. A bit more than what? Seven grand. Seven grand? Yeah. Wasn't sure if you'd let me back up. Well, I had to think twice. I don't see what we've got to talk about. So you don't think I had a right to be surprised? Oh, you make it sound like a raised eyebrow. <sighs> Look, uh, I shouldn't have said the things I said, OK? And I should have told you about Chloe. But I was angry. I thought, all right, we might be lying to the rest of the world, but... To each other. Oh, I didn't want to scare you off. Well, I'm standing here, aren't I? I'll be honest with you. You know, having another child's not exactly the top of my to-do list, not at my age. Oh, your age doesn't matter, cos I'm the one that's running out of time. So if that's the way you feel, I think it's best... You never let me finish. So I'm willing to keep an open mind, OK? Let's talk it through. You know, I want to be reasonable about this, Toya. It's not a matter of thinking or talking. No amount of talking in the world is going to change what I need. So you need a kid more than me? Only if you turn it into that kind of choice. All right. All right. Yeah, we don't often see you in here. Don't you usually go to old man Guffrey's on Tal Street? He takes way too long. Yeah, surprised me. Mm. He's riddled with arthritis these days. Yeah, riddled's never a good thing, is it? You're not riddled with joy or contentment or anything like that. It's always some sort of hideous ailment, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, sit down. So... What can we do for you, Chezzers? Can I have the same as Ronaldo? Yeah, he's not been in for a while. What's he have again? You know what I mean. Short around the sides, floppy on top. Yeah, I'm not sure you're the the floppy on top kind of guy. Hair-wise, I mean. Well, if you can't do it... No, 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 I never said I couldn't do it. I'm sure I can, you know, stick some product in there, something. I do quite a lot of them, to be fair. Mm. It's very fashionable. Is that a problem? I'm allowed to be fashionable, aren't I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course you are, mate. Pete, 
you. I love you. I want to be with you. But I have wanted this so much for so long. Yeah, I realise that. No, you don't. No, 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 you couldn't possibly. I mean, IVF, it's just a... Uh, well, it's just another three letters to you, isn't it? But to me, it's... Uh, it's... Oh, it's been my whole world. Do you know, I go on the, uh, the chat forums and... one by one, the women would just drop away, you know, as they got pregnant. It's really hard to feel glad for him. Even, uh, oh, just, you know, a woman walking down the street with a buggy or walking past a playground and hearing kids just... Well, if it... If it wasn't for the time that I spent with you, I'm not sure I'd have got through it. Why didn't you say something? <sighs> because it was... It was the last thing I wanted to talk about. Being with you was an escape. You know, from the, the forums and the clinics, the letters from the bank, and, and, then, and the kick in the teeth that you knew was always waiting for you. Anyway, it got to the point where there was nothing else for me and Toby to talk about. I mean, he never actually blamed me, but I knew. Now, seeing you was uh, it's just a scrap of, of normal life. An hour off the treadmill. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I think. But what happens to us if I... if I get on that treadmill? What will I become? Someone who loved me enough to take a risk. Someone who understood. I know we've been here before. <laughs> Not right. Oh, I, look, um, I know it feels like we've been here before. But I haven't. And I've never felt this happy. Oh, that's cheesy. Oh. Got you. Oh, well. I can't get away with it now, when can I, eh? Hold on. Yeah, go on, then. Ooh, rhubarb and custard. They never let you down, do they? Huh. Unlike some people I could mention. Oh, yeah? Anyone I know? Yeah, Peter. Oh, you don't say. Yeah, he's meant to be working, but he's gone AWOL. Gone looking for his new woman. No, no, he's just been round our flat. Has he? Hmm. Yeah. He told me that he was going to find his new bird, Wilma. Wilma? <laughs> yeah, Wilma. I can't say I've ever met a Wilma. If there's ever an alias, that's it. Anyway, you wanted to make up with her because I'd had a Barney. You get it? What? Barney. Barney Rubble. Fred Flintstone's uh, mate. Fred's wife mm. was called Wilma, wasn't she? <laughs> and we return to Coronation Street in half an hour. Any idea? Yeah, you might have run a mile. Yeah, if you really believe that, you don't think as much of me as I thought you mm. did. That's not true. <laughs> I never loved Toby the way that I love you. I know I should have told her. Oh, well. It doesn't matter now. Do you know, when we were together, I used to hope for some sort of miracle. You know, because of how we felt. I thought Mother Nature might say, yeah, this is right. A baby's right for them. <laughs> How stupid's that? Well, yabba dabba, flaming do. Fred and Wilma, I presume. And there are pockets for the um, prostheses. Yes, I can see. It's very elegant. Really well made. We could we could always tweak the designs according to your suggestions. Oh, I'm very impressed with it as it is. Rachel writes for the Gazette. Oh, really? Didn't know the press were coming. Uh, have you done anything like this before? Uh, no, no. It, it's just Sally having to mention that um, some people weren't very happy with the mastectomy brows on the market. 
Oh, well, if you do go into production, then I'd be uh, happy to write a piece for it. Well, that would be amazing if you could. I, I mean... yeah, I'd like to see where my money's going, see what the setup is. Ah, I totally understand. Well, we pride ourselves on running a tight ship. Uh, we, we, we just want to let as many people yeah, know that these are available. Yeah. And, and we could do them in different ways. Hi, Jenny. Yeah, um, do... I think we should let everyone get back to work now. <laughs> Don't be daft. <laughs> You're not finished your day, have you? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I want to make sure I get everyone's feedback. Yeah, yeah. yeah all right, Jenny. You know, I've tried. There's nothing more I can do. Oh, oh Mr. Connor! Yeah. Is this the uh, tight ship you were telling me about? You all right? No, nervous. Won't be easy facing down David Platt. Mind you, it won't be easy standing up in court. Well, they might sell. Yeah, and then again, they might not. Like I said, we need the money, don't we? Yeah. You liar. What? I can't believe you was going to let me relive the worst day of my life, and all the time you've got Sally's money burning and all in your overalls. Yeah, I know all about it. But why did you have to let me hear it from Tim instead of you? I was waiting for the right moment. Oh, what? Presumably as soon as David's cheque had cleared. We can forget that now, cos there's no way I'm suing him. Look, wait! Wait! Look, Sally's money changes nothing. It's seven grand. It's a sticky plaster. I used to be married to her. I didn't know how you'd feel. So you did a deal with your ex-wife behind my back? I made a mistake. Making a lot of them lately. Look, hold on. This isn't all down to me. It's not my fault the insurance won't pay out. You what? Fred and Wilma, you must be laughing your heads off. It wasn't like that. I don't know why I didn't see it. I mean, the clues were all there, weren't they? The brass tape, everything you said at the car park, the catastrophe otherwise known as Christmas. <laughs> Maybe I deserve to be taken for a mug. Lee, will you calm down? Don't you dare tell me to calm down after what you've done. You see there, right, OK, this is why we didn't want to tell you. You what? Because of this, because we, we knew that you'd kick off and it isn't good for you or the baby. Oh! Oh, right! Well, now you see it, it's obvious, isn't it? I mean, you've been completely betraying me for my benefit. How did I not see it before? We would never have forgiven ourselves if anything would have happened to oh, the baby. Oh, stop it, I'm filling up here. You lied to me for seven months. We weren't living round here. We didn't know how long it would last. Why would we cause unnecessary aggro? Plus, there was Simon to consider. Don't! Don't you dare! You're already hiding behind a fetus. Don't you dare drag your son into this. Come on, Lee. What have we done wrong, really? Toy was in a bad marriage. I was single, now she's single. But because she's missing! Exes are totally out of bounds and she knows it. Exes, especially you, is rule one, two and three. So don't you stand there and pretend that you're doing this to protect me because you did it out of shame. It's pure and simple. I didn't know you were bringing a client back. Well, I tried telling her, but she wouldn't listen. We'll leave you to your tea dance. Uh, don't go, Richard. It's not normally like this. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, but uh, while the cat's away, yeah? Come on, this is not the kind of outfit we do business with. Uh, look, this is down to me. Johnny, Mr Connor, he had no idea. But he does encourage his workforce to have an input, you know, to use their initiative. These ladies are from a breast cancer clinic. Yeah, it's the one that I attended. And they're not keen on the mastectomy bras that are available, so Jenny made a prototype and we've asked them for their feedback. Yeah, with a view to Underworld producing a range. Oh, very commendable, if a little niche. Nearly 20,000 mastectomies are performed every year, most of them on women. That's one heck of a niche. And as they do go into production, I'm going to write an article for my paper, The Gazette. They deserve a bit of backing. Uh, yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah, and it's always hard to find gaps in the market these days. Oh, perhaps we should discuss it further in your office. Absolutely. Would you look after these ladies, please, Sal? We really appreciate you coming in. It's like a look. <clears throat> after you. I think you better join us. I should have read the policy properly. There's something in the small print, a loophole. Oh, there's a loophole, all right, and it's strung round our necks. When was you going to tell me? I didn't want to worry you. Look, I thought I could turn things around. How? You can't even afford to pay this staff. Where are you going to find the money to rescue the business? He's getting seven grand off his ex. It's just to tide you over, isn't it, so you could cash in on me injuries. Anna. 
No, he wants me to sue David Platt. Go to court, stand there, answering questions about the one day that I want to forget more than anything else. All to save your flaming empire. It's the only thing I could think of. Look, I didn't even want to suggest it. But you did, Kev. You did. Wouldn't you let me go through with it and all? Wouldn't you even have to get in Sally's money? Wouldn't you? Oh. Oh, well, good to see you and all. I thought you were going to be Leanne. How come you shot? Have you got a private function? Yeah, I'm more private than I thought. Looks like it's just going to be me. Is this what I think it is? Are you going to propose? Well, what if your sister had turned up? So it's just going to be me and the balloon, and I can't see us growing old together. Oh! Oh, congratulations. <laughs> I haven't asked her yet. I don't want to tempt fate. Oh, she'll bite your hand off. Yeah, well, that wouldn't surprise me. The match she's been eating lately. She's probably knocking back a cream slice as we speak. Oh, let me give her a call. No, 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 no. don't, don't. don't. I, I, I've sent Toy to look for her. I don't want to add you to the search party. She'll know something's up. I want it to be a surprise. She loves surprises. I know it's a surprise, but we were hoping you might be pleased in <laughs> Pleased. Pleased. Look, don't you want your sister to be happy? Oh, absolutely. Which is why I don't want her in a million miles of you. Peter is the best thing to happen to me in a long time. Well, in that case, you need to get out more. Look, why shouldn't we be together? You're behaving like a big kid, Leanne. Peter, don't go. Hey, no, no, no. I don't need you to defend me. In fact, I don't need anybody. As far as I'm concerned, you're welcome to each other. Please, Lee, don't go. Please, I don't want us to fall out. No? Well, then you should have thought of that before. She was being totally irrational. Well, she's pregnant, she's got a right. And she's got a point. Oh, I've never seen her like that. Oh, I have. And she got over it? No. Do you know what I should have known? Do you know what I, di I did know? Deep down, I just shut my eyes to it. It was always going to end like this. End? Oh, she'll never accept us. Look, we, we can't just give in. Maybe it's for the best. I mean, you don't want a baby. No, but I, I want you. And... If having a baby's part of that package and I have to be the oldest dad on the playground, then so be it. Hiya. Hi. Do you like it? Uh, I, I don't know. What's wrong with it? It's dead fashionable. Oh, yeah, I know, but... But I'm not. No, I, I never said that. It's, it's just, it's... It's not really you, is it? Yeah, well, maybe me's been the problem. Well, it's time I changed, started making more of an effort with myself. I don't want you thinking I'm taking you for granted. No, I know you're not. It's, it's not about that. It's... What? I can't do this now. I'll, I'll see you later. Hello. Hi. All right. Really? I think you need to plug in your smile. What's up? Oh, trust me, don't have the time. I'm a student. I've got nothing but time. Time that I'm supposed to be wasting in a pub. How do you fancy helping me live up to the stereotype? Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean... It's your lunch break. I'm buying. How often do you hear a student say that? Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm going to phone her. Do what you like. Champagne's warm. Flowers wilted. Moment's passed. Aye. Don't be so defeatist. Faint art never won the fair lady, did it? Yeah. Helps if your fair lady's in the same room. Right, I'm definitely gonna call her. How can I not see it when it was under my nose the whole flipping time? What's the matter? I am absolutely fuming. Leanne, calm down. Watch your blood pressure. Oh, shut up about my blood pressure. Right, uh, what's going on? I need to talk to Leanne. Get lost. You know we can't leave things like this. OK, can you tell, someone tell me what's happening? I'll be in the kitchen. So he's seen them on his drone. They've asked him to keep it a secret, and he did. He even took the blame when Peter left his fags at the flat. So he wasn't even smoking? No. I mean, it's no wonder it all got too much for the poor thing. He needed to tell somebody, didn't he? And he chose me. Why didn't you tell Leanne? Oh, do you know what? Nothing would have given me greater pleasure. 
after Leanne's scare and with what happened to Michelle, I couldn't risk hurting the baby, could I? No, I could sigh. And she's all right. Yeah, well, if anything does happen, Lee's sister or not, I swear I will tear that little skinny cow apart and Peter. Oh, you can leave him to me. I've been itching for a good excuse. Mm -hmm. Bet you didn't think this would be the reason, though, did you? I mean, you had nothing to worry about. You weren't even after Leah. Yeah. Obviously realised he was wasting his time and jumped on Toya as the next best thing. Nope. Wrong again. Apparently, this has been going on for ages, way before Peter rocked back up. He's the reason that Toya split up with her husband. So you were definitely barking up the wrong tree. Talk about putting in your hands. I'm surprised Richie didn't roll over and ask you to rub his belly. I'm not that kind of girl. <laughs> Seriously, I've seen him make grown reps cry, but it was a pussycat for you. Well, I told you I'd prove myself. You did that all right, in spades. Remind me never to go up against this one in negotiations. It might be hard once you're married. I bet it's one long negotiation. Well, it won't be over money. <laughs> I'm going to sign the prenup. Seriously? It's a bit sudden. Are you sure? You yeah, I'm positive. It was a shock at first. It felt like you cared more about the money than you did me. It was never the intention. No, no, I know. And the more I've thought about it, the more it makes sense. I don't want anybody thinking I'm marrying you for anything other than love. Mm. Might be hard with this face. Yeah, too right. Mm. <laughs> And I don't want to be a kept woman. I think I've got a lot to give. Well, you get no argument from me there. If Aiden had shut off the house you did today, I could have retired years ago. Well, today could be just a start if you give me a chance. What do you think? I think you better go shopping for a business suit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's tough at all. I feel bad about Ches sleeping on the city, but it's just causing nothing but trouble. You can't help how you feel. He deserves better. I think it'll be better for everyone if, if we just try it again. Now, when you say everyone, are you including you? Well, I reckon I could make it work. But what would be the point? If it's not what you want. You can't always get what you want. Someone even wrote a song about it. <sighs> I don't know. I think you might be surprised. What is it that you want, Sinead? Right this minute, I'd settle for a bag of salt and vinegar. Mick, we're supposed to be running that place together. You should have told me about the insurance. Oh, what difference does that make? Apart from getting you all worked up. Yeah, and of every right to be. Look, if I'm getting dragged over a cliff, I want to know about it before I go over the edge. Well, I can do something about it. Like what? I don't know. We've just spent the last 12 months getting out of debt, and I am not going back to that, not ever. I don't care what it takes. So you're thinking you might have to lay people off? Mm. Just hate the thought of having to sit someone down and... Kevin shouldn't have put us in this situation. Well, I'm sure the lads will understand. Well, it won't be then, at least not to start with. How do you mean? Well, if Sophie hadn't gone swanning off to Miami, none of this would have happened. Oh, Ty, you can't blame her for getting ill. Well, I'm not. But look, she's not a mechanic, and we have managed just fine while she's been away. So if we're losing anyone off the payroll... You can't ask Kevin to sack his own kid. Can't I? Oh, you two should be building bridges. You need each other now more than ever. Kevin is not going to get rid of Sophie. Well, we'll see, won't we? Because from where I'm standing, he ain't got a choice. Oh, you know how much she means to me. Well, if I didn't before, I do now. Don't say that. Why? What do you expect me to say? It's not like you borrowed one of me tops without asking. Oh, I don't know. You used to kick off when I did. Hey, do you remember that time I nicked your tartan ruffle skirt? I remember it all. I remember there was nothing I wouldn't have done for you. I've been let down by people all my life, but you, I thought I could count on you. You still can. What, after this? You lied to me. And yeah, you wanted to keep me from the truth, but how does that make it better? But it was wrong, but I need you to forgive me, Lee. I need you in my life. Well, then you know what you have to do. If it was that easy, don't you think I'd have done it by now? I love him. But well, he doesn't love you. He might say that he does, and he might even think that he does. But Peter loves himself. Always has. He's changed. He's changed you. You never used to be this gullible. Oh, look, you don't know what he's done for me. You don't know how close I came to... To what? 
thought the IVF was failing and we were running out of money. My marriage was in pieces. I felt like a total failure and I was so tired. I was just tired of fighting and losing. Peter saved me. He made me feel normal again. Like I could have a life worth living. But you could have come to me. You had troubles of your own. Oh, Peter, of all the people! It couldn't have been anyone else. Do you really feel that strongly about him? Do you think I would have risked this for Mr. Right now? But I tried not to fall in love, Lee. I mean, for your sake, even more than Toby's, but... Without Peter, I don't think I could have carried on. For me? No, I'm worried. <laughs> Charming. When you make a brew, it generally comes with two sugars and an agenda. Am I that transparent? I've known you since the day you opened your eyes. You'd really have to go some to surprise me. I might just do that. I'm handing him a notice, Dad. Why? Is it because of Jenny? Oh, no, of course not. I'm glad it's working out for you two. It's just I need a challenge, and I don't want to be working here just because I'm the boss's daughter. Well, that's not true for a start. You're a grafter. No offence to Kerr, but we do need a functioning brain in packing. <laughs> oh, I'll take that as a compliment. My heart's never been in the rag trade. You know that. So what are you going to do? <sighs> I got a job at the bistro. <laughs> I did a shift the other day and I really enjoyed it. It felt like a good fit. you felt that for years, Dad. You're lucky. I'm, just, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm letting you down. Don't be down. Come here. I don't care if you're packing knickers, laying bricks, or selling dusters door to door. <laughs> as long as you're happy. That's all that's ever mattered to me. <laughs> you were right about me and Chez. I'm out of order. I never said that. Beth likes to keep me on my toes and all. I'm surprised I don't walk on all fours. Not the time I spend in the dugout. <laughs> This isn't about keeping Chez on his toes, all the sofa. He's done nothing wrong. He should be sleeping in his own bed. He'll be chuffed. He'll be up them stairs two at a time. You best look out. There's no need, Kirk. I'm not going to be there. It's over. Look, I don't want another owl, mate. No, me neither. But we need to sort this. Mm, we can't carry on as we are. Not with half the business closed. We're gonna have to cut our outgoings. Uh, tell me something I don't know. There's only one way I can think of, though. It's the last thing I wanted. Why well, didn't want to be a boss in the first place? No. I'll do the dirty work. Did everything. It's the least I can do. Good. I mean, there's one obvious candidate. Mm. Were you and him being so close and all? Mm. Hang on, who are you on about? Freddie. Been here five minutes, last in first out. No! No, it is not his fault we're in this mess. A lot of this is down to Sophie, so when she gets back, she should get her cards. No, I'm not sacking my old daughter. We have managed without someone in the office for years. Freddie's a trained mechanic. Freddie can live off his pension. Sophie needs this job. But there won't be a job for anyone the way you're going. You're running this business into the ground, and I'll lie to the police for nothing. What? What's that got to do with anything? Because you owe me, Kev, which means we start doing things my way. You must have picked the scabbiest knight in shining armor that's ever saddled up. I told you I didn't choose him any more than he chose me. Yeah, well, from my experience, Faith's got a funny sense of humor and a lot to answer for. Maybe, but Peter's got me through. He's, he's getting me through. But Lee, I'm not asking for your blessing. Just a chance. Eva's put me in the picture. Eva, what, you, you knew about this? Yeah, it was not for very long. Uh, two minutes would have been too long. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to. She we... did. Yeah, and so did Simon, but let me... Simon! Simon knew about this. Was there anybody who wasn't in on it? OK, I don't think anyone meant any harm. 
I wanted to tell you, but I... I didn't want to stress you out and hurt you while the baby... Oh, whereas this is doing me the world of good, isn't it? Look, you weren't supposed to find out until the baby was born, and then I was going to tell you. Oh, what? And you were just all going to stand there with surprised faces looking at me like the village idiot? I'm sorry. Oh, get off. I'm sorry. I should have said something. I... Could you have done this to me? You were my sisters. I still am. No, you're not. Not anymore. Well, you can tell by the way he used to walk, he was a woman's man, no time to talk. But tonight he does have time and he's talking to Piers Morgan. The Bee Gees Barry Gibb is tonight's life story, next here on ITV.